Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install KDE Neon. Uh, for this video, you're going to need a USB drive, a web browser, and that's about it. And obviously a computer to install KDE Neon onto. So you can see I've got uh, Google Chrome up here. It can be any browser that you choose. And we're going to type in KDE Neon into the search. And we can go to the website. Uh, introducing KDE Neon, the latest and greatest of KDE community software packaged on a rock solid base. So we're going to click that download button. And there's a number of editions available. There's the user edition, which is the one that most people want to use. There's a testing edition, and there's an unstable uh, edition, and a developer edition. So I'm going to choose the user edition. I'll just click that button there. And then it's going to download in the bottom left hand corner. Whilst that's taking place, we can go to etcher.io. Uh, this doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Linux, by the way. Um, it is the same procedure either way. So we're going to click Download Etcher. Now for Windows, you're going to click this Download button here. For Linux, you're going to click this Download button here. So um, I'm using Windows here, so I'm going to click Download for Windows. It's worth inserting your USB drive at this point, by the way. Um, and it's also um, worth noting that your USB drive will be wiped during this process. So if there's anything on that USB drive that you need to keep, uh, copy it off uh, onto somewhere else. With that downloaded, you can either click the download here in the bottom corner, or, or you can open your Windows Explorer, as shown here. Go to your Downloads folder, and you'll see there's a setup um, here, so um, double click on that, and we can minimize this window. And you'll see this license agreement, just click I agree. Now, uh, Belina Etcher should um, launch automatically, but if it doesn't, um, what you want to do is double click on the icon that appears on the left hand side, and this is a screen that will appear. Uh, so I'll now show you the, the same process in Linux, so that you can get the Linux version of this working. So if you're using Linux, uh, I'm using Zubuntu here, you can use any uh, Linux distribution. What you want to do is open your file manager, whatever that may be. You want to go to the Downloads folder, and you'll see Belina Etcher app image here. What you want to do is right-click on that, you want to go to your properties, and you want to go to the permissions. And you want to make sure that this has a check in it, so allow this, program, this file to run as a program. Without that, it won't work. So make sure that's checked, and then you want to just click on it, and then you get the same screen that you get for Windows. So now, whether you're using Windows or Linux, the process is the same. You click Flash from File. Make sure your USB drive is inserted at this point, by the way, before the application is running. Uh, choose the ISO image, in this case, Neon User. So in Windows, you go to your Windows Downloads folder, and you pick that. You select your target, and as you can see, I've got one called Zorin, because that was the last one I wrote to, but that's the name of my USB drive. And I'm just going to select that target there, so select, going to click Flash. And it'll ask for your password in Linux. It may well ask for your password in Windows as well. But then you're going to get this starting process and it's going to start to flash to the USB drive. Uh, whether you're using Windows or Linux, that'll take about 10-15 minutes to do that. It says, so you can see it's now gone through the flashing step and it's going through the verification step. Uh, it's got another minute or so to go on that. Eventually you'll see it says flash completed and you can flash another one if you want to, but um, at this point uh, you're able to start the installation process. So put the USB drive in the computer you want to install Linux to and then um, start that computer. Uh, so if it's the computer that you're currently using, uh, just reboot the computer and continue from there. When the computer boots up, press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. So in my case it's F7 and you can see it's entering the boot menu there and then you want to choose your USB drive. In my case it's this Pony Transformer. And then you'll see this menu here and what you want to do is select KDE Neon. When KDE Neon starts, click on the install icon in the top left corner and then wait for a few seconds for the installer to start and then you'll be waiting for the um, 
initialization to begin. And then you can choose your language. Once you've chosen your language, click Next. As you can see, I'm going to choose British English because I'm in the UK. And then I'm choosing where I am in the world. So again, I'm choosing the UK, London, and uh, then I click Next. And then I can choose my keyboard layout. So UK again. And then I'm choosing where I'm installing uh, KDE Neon. Um, so you can install alongside um, a current operating system. You can replace a partition. Uh, I'm installing the entire disk, so I'm doing a raised disk. If you do this, make sure you've done a backup before you start. Uh, then uh, creating a user, so uh, enter my name and a username, uh, a name for the computer. I've left it as Gary PC, uh, unimaginative. Uh, then I've entered my password and I've repeated the password. And then I've clicked the install button and the installation will begin. And that can take um, 15 to 20 minutes. So um, uh, go away and come back as soon as it's finished. When the installation is complete, you can reboot your computer. And when prompted, you can remove your USB drive. After you log in, you should now be within KDE Neon. You can step your way through the welcome screen. And that is the end of the setup. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.